Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. Today I wanna to share my TBR for the Twisted and Taboo Readathon. So, first things first, the Twisted and Taboo Readathon is coming up pretty quickly here. It is from the 16th to the 19th. It is gonna be hosted by Tori from Novel Life, Sam from Sam Reads a Little, Jess from Peace Love Books, Cheyenne, that tall book girl, as well as McKay from Oh Hey, It's McKay. They have reading sprints planned for each day of the readathon, as well as a kickoff live show on the 15th. I'm really excited to be a part of it. I wanted to do a quick and dedicated TBR for this readathon because the day that this starts is the same day as Wanderlust in San Antonio, which means at one point I will be vlogging two things at the same time. <laughs> I plan on doing a reading vlog for this readathon as well as vlogging my time in San Antonio with my bookish friends and meeting the authors that I'm so excited to meet. So I want a dedicated place to point to for my TBR as well as stick to it because I plan on starting the 17th when I'm flying back home that gives me ample opportunity to see what everybody else is reading okay and I am an auto click buying a moody type of easily influenced reader so I really want to prioritize these reads and since I came out with my five star predictions video out of the books that have already been released I've read all but three so I'm hoping to produce similar kind of magic here long intro let's get into the accountability okay because i do plan on reading the group book this is a novella that's going to fit the stalker spot and that is obsession by regina wade i peeked at the synopsis so i know that this is featuring a curvy heroine that teaches yoga okay and as she's contorting herself into positions she is aware that she's being watched but she likes it so i'm here for it also for stalker spot I need to prioritize this book and that is Breaking Meredith by Izzy Sweet. This was recommended to me a while back, okay? It has been holding down a Kindle Unlimited spot for a while. I heard that Kennedy Ryan loved this book. Melissa has recommended me so many books so this is my time to freaking get into the game and actually read one. I also have an affinity for tech savvy heroes and our hero Simon actually runs the surveillance for the crew that he's a part of. And he's been watching his friend's sister for the past five years. And now he has a reason to because I guess early on in the book, something happens between her and um, someone a little sinister that worries her brother and forces her into proximity with Simon and I love to see it. I'm very eager to pick this up. In fact, I'm going to be, maybe I should read this on the flight there. Okay, because this TBR is ambitious. My plan of attack, because I've got doubles for multiple spots, is to hit the blackout, of course, okay? <laughs> and then double back. So I may do that. You'll see it in the vlog if I do, but I have to prioritize Breaking Meredith by Izzy Sweet. Next, I'm planning on also reading Manic by Amo Jones. Cheyenne has recommended this book. I really want to get into it. I know it's set in New Orleans. I know it's Bratva. I believe Captor Captive as well because the heroine sees something that she's not supposed to. Somehow she's freed, which allows the stalker element to hit the trap. And I just realized I rattled off a lot of prompts. <laughs> So I need to think about the order in which I'm reading these. Okay, I'll circle back to that. Next, for my serial killer spot, I cannot wait, okay, to read Black Sheep by Bryn Weaver. I am excited about this book because both of our MCs are supposed to be serial killers. He's a physician and she's a doctoral student. And from what I gleaned in the synopsis, they are after the same target. So they are continuously crossing each other's paths in the medical program that she's in, as well as while they're on the hunt. I have to get into this. I cannot wait. Serial killer spot is locked down for sure. Next, I have Sorted by Nikki Sloan. 
I will be reading this on the plane back, okay? I have had this on my TBR for a while. I cannot believe that I haven't read it yet. This is gonna hit my captor captive spot. I know that there are gonna be non-consensual scenes as well as dubious consent in this book. You know, this is going to be a dark mafia romance. I know that it starts out in a university setting. Our heroine has a crush on her TA and she does not know of who he really is, but she finds out really quickly. I know that he um keeps her captive in order to keep her quiet, claim and protect her, you know, the whole gambit. And so I'm most excited to get into this book. It's been on my TBR for a while, so we're prioritizing it for sure. Next, I have Ooh, a sapphic novella that also is captor captive that I want to get in and that's Don't Tell Me No by Honey Chanel. In this one, the heroine's husband, okay, has been embezzling money, gets caught and gives her up as a means to pay off his debt. And it is a romance between his billionaire boss and his wife. I have to read that. So for my motorcycle club spot, the Kings of Kearney by Novessa Allen. Oh, I love her writing and she writes across genres. She's got an MMF, historical romance, scandal. I loved that. She also has paranormal. This is her MC. It's also a gen gen. And what's intriguing me about it is that I've never read an MC romance where there are male and female members. Okay, they're both veterans. He is a little tortured, she's scarred, and of course the motorcycle club allows them to go out of the confines of the law and they are looking into something nefarious happening at a nursing home. And so the tone of this just seems so fresh and different from anything else I've picked up and I'm so excited to finally get to it. I love readathons because I can finally just like knock down all the stuff I keep saying I'm going to read. Oh, I cannot wait to read that. Next for Daddy. Ooh, I am reading Dark Secret by Sue Brown. This is a MM Mafia Bodyguard Daddy Kink series. And I found it during the Mafia Romance Readathon. This is the second in the series. And I know that our bodyguard hero is weary, okay, <laughs> of his job. He's tired of the celebrity and politicians, kids, clients, and he gets this assignment to find the twin brother of the newly appointed capo for the Italian mafia and he doesn't want to take it but that twin brother happens to be aligned with his best friend's new beau so he takes it. I'm interested in seeing this. This is also on the shorter side. I was surprised because the first was full length and I believe that this is only 150 pages so I'm gonna knock that daddy kink spot out real quick. <laughs> Next for my coach athlete spot, I have Carter by Zyla Turner. And I'm kind of being a little bit of a loophole master here because our heroine used to be a basketball player on her way to the pros, but due to injury, she's now an official. And so as an official, um, she has kicked our hero out of the game on more than one occasion, which sparks their sort of enemies to lovers journey. But as we begin this book, he is a coach in the league and it's their romance. I'm very intrigued by this. And I mean, it just got me. POC author, like that's holding down the coach and athlete spot for me. Next for Bully, I have got to read Bright Light Midnight by Julia Wolf. Uh, this is part of her Savage You universe. And I began with Start a Fire, okay, with Bash. He was giving me Carter Mahoney vibes. This one is set in college. I know we're dealing with a, an introverted, curvy heroine who has already been held captive by the hero for romance reasons. <laughs> and so because of that, she's coming out of her shell, now dating, but something stalkerish occurs, which makes her feel unsafe, and Amir steps in to protect her, but at the cost of her being his pet and I love to see it. So I cannot wait to read that. I recently read Sweet Like Poison and absolutely loved it. So I'm going back to the beginning with this series. Also, just for age gap, looks like I'm wrapping it up. See, I, I said this was gonna be quick. For age gap, I either wanna read Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan, okay? It is time. This is best friend's son 
mature heroine, younger hero that happens to be her poor boy. I've heard nothing but great things. Oh, I'd have to get to it. Next, what's actually on my TBR is Bittersweetheart by Helena Hunting. This too is a mature heroine, younger hero. It's a no strings attached one night stand that turns into a student teacher dynamic at university. So I really want to read this. I believe Monica, let me know in the comments. I think you said that this was good on a live show. So I'm excited about that. Trust her taste, even though it's different from mine. But if Monica says like she likes something, I'm like, okay. Anyway, I won't rattle off. That is my TBR for the Twisted and Taboo readathon. It's very ambitious. However, I have the rest of the readathon off. So I plan on getting through these. I'm very excited. I want to get a blackout. I can't wait to see what everybody else is reading. And um, I want to thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing and sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.